we are doing is creating um, colors on a surface of, a me uh, of metal based on the idea that, that oxides form, that is, films form on a piece of metal when it's exposed to electricity. Each film la layer is a, what we consider a volt, uh, a number of voltages. So when the eye sees an oil slick, based on the way the sun is striking it, we see down through each of the, each of the levels of the, the depth of the oil or the depth of the, of the oxide film that's on the metal when it's going through the electric bath. So when it, it's all based on voltage. What kind of metal can you use? Titanium, neo, niobium, tantalum, any of the rare earth metals will color. This was discovered in England when they were uh, coating some of the um, pipes that used in, in, in the space industry. And they'd coat it with colors. I mean, they were creating the colors through heat and electricity. So this was picked up by the artist and converted into a tool, an artist tool. So we can get any color depending on the depth of the, of the film. It's the longer the piece is in the bath and the higher the voltage that we dial to through our equipment like this, we can dial our voltage by dialing to 90, 25, 25 volts gives us that color. 90 gives us anything around this green area. So we're really dealing with voltage, and every volt is a different color. But we jump it from in 10s and 15s so that we have, we have a better control of color. Like this is 80 volts, down here is 80 volts, that's 70 volts, and up here is 30 volts. So you can see the voltage showing up on all these little... Mm -hmm. After 50, you're going to go down by fives because color gets different. You're not building quite as many levels of oxides. Okay, now go down 45. Because they're less oxides and have to form. 